Right, so this year's Christmas present for my little girl is going to be another IKEA hack. I'm going to be transforming IKEA Felissa, I think that's how you say it, doll's house, which looks like that, into something a little bit more stylish. So the doll's house is flat packed, so you have to put it together first. Okay, so I have put it together, but I have left the roof off because I think that might be easier to get to all these little bits to paint. And the really good thing is these back bits slide out so that we can paint the back of these. So I have put together the basic shell of the doll's house now. All that's left is to put the roof on. So now I'm going to crack on with decorating it. I'm going to have this room here as the bathroom. I have got this A3 sheet of embossed tiles and I'm just going to cut it up and stick it onto the walls. I've also got this for the floor. It's literally just a sticker sheet. So I'm just going to cut that to the right size and stick it down to the floor. bedroom in here and what I want to do is create a bit of a feature wall with some fake panelling which I am going to create using some lollipop sticks with the ends chopped off and stuck on with glue. painted the living room in a grey colour and I'm moving on to doing the flooring in the kitchen here and this really cool herringbone style wooden floor um, it's just literally a bit of paper that I found on eBay and I'm going to cut it to size and put it in here so thinking about some flooring in here I thought I would um, have a little rug um, I found this bit of hessian fabric laying about the house and what I'm going to do is just cut it in a circle shape um, and hopefully it will make a nice little rug. So if you are thinking of doing something like this but you're worried that you don't really have time, one thing I would definitely recommend is leaving it somewhere back in here which is in my kitchen. It's been really handy just to quickly do one or two little things while I'm waiting for my dinner to cook etc. So today I um, have just given the kitchen walls a coat of white so that it matches the backing. So we're really getting there now. And the next thing I want to do is paint the furniture. So I thought I would just quickly show you an idea for adding some greenery to your doll's house. So as you can see, I've got some little stems in a pot there. So what I've done is just taken a couple of leaves from one of my artificial plants 
um, and literally just stuck a couple of stems into a wooden bead like that and it's quite good it's gonna stand in the corner there so a really easy cheap way of just adding some little accessories to your doll's house right so this is the doll's house furniture I ordered from Amazon. It's all looking a bit boring at the minute though, isn't it? So I'm going to spruce them up a little bit. Okay, so I'm ready to paint the kitchen furniture now. I'm gonna use this color, which matches the Ikea play kitchen that I made last year. I thought it would be cool to have her play kitchen match the furniture that's gonna go in the doll's house kitchen. Okay, so I think we are finally getting somewhere with this now. So I have found a little bit of like furry material to make a rug in the bedroom. I have painted the bath. I have also painted the kitchen and put that in there and the table. In the set of furniture that I bought, you get two tables, one for the kitchen and one which I think was meant to go as like a coffee table in the living room or something but um, I've pushed them together to make like a really lovely long table and fill the space a bit better and I have just painted the toilet as well and now I'm thinking about in here I'm not really happy with how bare it looks in here so I'm gonna have a little think about what I can do to spice it up a bit I've got a little bit of this card left it was like an off cut so I thought I might maybe put it along the wall but it does look a bit boring doesn't it so I'm just trying to have a little think about what I can do to spice this up a little bit. So I have made these little cushions for the bed and I'm gonna make another one to go on this armchair and also to go in here in the living room. Um, so they're really easy to make. All you need is cut a little rectangle of felt, four and a half centimeters across and seven centimeters wide. Then you literally just fold it in half and sew all around the three edges like this. Just a really simple running stitch with some thread. And then I'm just gonna pop some cotton wool inside and sew it up. Okay, so today I've been working on some accessories for the doll's house. So I found a little bit of fabric to make a little duvet cover. It's literally just a square of fabric just cut up. This is my little wall hanging. It's basically just a little wooden pole and I've got little lengths of wool, which I have wrapped around the top of the pole, just to make a really cool little feature for the wall there. Really easy to make. In the bathroom, I have found a thick bit of fabric. It's actually an off cut of an old bath mat. This is, I've basically just trimmed a little stem of an artificial plant and popped it in another wooden bead and that's gonna go in the bathroom there. In the kitchen, found a bit of felt to make a table runner for the table. So I think I'm gonna stick some more tiles on here um, to jazz up the kitchen a little bit. But I've also, I just literally Googled kitchen prints um, and printed out in a really small size, just on a bit of paper. So they are gonna go in the kitchen, but it's really coming together now. I am officially all done. I have added this lampshade, which um, is literally the top of a bottle of bubble bath. And I have wrapped some more of the hessian fabric around, stuck it down with a glue gun, put a little hole in it, put a bit of wool, which I have fixed into the top of the doll's house. To do that, I literally just unscrewed this and slid the bit of wool in you can see it there